Tito naman ang mga taga-suporta ni Pangulong Duterte na sumusuporta sa federalism at revolutionary government. Good day and welcome to Pros and Cons, where we ask the hard questions and you decide which side of the truth you would choose to believe. Since the Philippine Revolution, our first leaders toyed with the idea of establishing a federal government. The objective was to divide the country into states to effectively cater to the diverse needs of Filipinos in every region. President Rodrigo Duterte once again floated the idea of federalism, but this time to establish long-awaited reforms in the government. Duterte plans to change what he called the disproportionately biased distribution of public funds and by extension, the means for progress towards Manila. The proposal also comes at an opportune time when the Bangsamoro of Mindanao are calling for autonomy. But the mere thought of changing the constitution in favor of a federal government is a sensitive topic with dissenters fearing that Duterte would perpetuate himself into power among others. Today on Pros and Cons, we raise the question, can Filipinos benefit from federalism? And are we ready for a shift to a federal government? I am Undersecretary Joel Seego, your moderator. Welcome to part two of the special edition of Pros and Cons on the very hot topic of federalism. Still with us, our Assistant Secretary Jonathan Malaya of uh, the DILG, uh, taking the pros, no? Uh, side and again on the uh, opposite side we have still Professor Scott Tibayan, the Department Chair of Business and Public Administration of Fiati University. Yes, so during our first episode, ASEC, uh, napag-usapan natin, uh, if I remember it right, well, the need yes. for federalism to have massive popular That's right. support That's because right. yes. derecha usapan niya, alam ng ating mga kababayan. Marami ang nagsasabi na ang unang tatamaan dito kongreso and their dynasties, yung mga political dynasties. So kung ganon ang mangyayari, maybe they, they would not allow it to prosper diba? or to even pass. What can you say about it? Yeah, actually, Yusek, ito kasing federalism, it's a restructuring of government. No? It can be a parliament, it can be the existing House of okay. Representatives. No? May mga pagbabago nga lang. Mm -hmm. So, um, naging mainit din kasi yung usapin ng unicameral bicameral uh -huh. which was proposed by some congressmen na isang chamber na lang okay. uh, for us uh, for those who are pushing for federalism okay na sa amin yung maintain the two chambers okay yun nga lang may mga tatamaan in the sense the senators instead of having been elected at large they will be elected now by region. By region. Oh, and or by of, state. Pero region ang tawag natin. Region ang tawag. Mm. And doon naman sa lower house, no, mm -hmm. baka mawala yung party list. Okay. Okay. But the single member districts or yung existing districts ngayon, ay hindi naman yun ma maapektuhan. Ma ma okay. To be clear about it, hindi na hindi man ma-abolish ang, uh, ang uh, kongreso. Ito, yung kongreso. kongreso. Because kongreso. we still need the legislature. What about <coughs> the possibility of it not being passed by them kasi nga ano so there 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 goes ano eh, the the importance of popular support yes because as you mentioned kanina um, kahit nandun naman yung chamber mm -hmm. mawala for example mawala yung party list mm -hmm. so the party list congressmen are going to oppose it definitely yes. uh -huh. number 2 baka yung May pork barrel agad. system oh. ma yung pork barrel system ma mabawasan kasi okay. yung pondo nasa baba na baba na. so what okay. is there Good. to deliver Exactly. Kung congressmen, ang role na talaga nila is policy making or law making. Hindi na sila makakapagdala ng the, what is expected Tama. of them, which is the pork barrel system. And of course, yung anti-political dynasty provision na sinusulong natin, mm. tatamaan yung kanilang mga kamag-anak na nakapwesto ngayon. Yeah. Yung mga binanggit po namin, Prof, do you think uh, it would work? Would it be beneficial in that way? Magabong mabuwag ang ano, political dynasties regardless kung oh, military or federal. Or federal. Or, Gago na if you shift to federal system, mm -hmm. di ba? each state or each region can create their own laws, mm -hmm. they can restructure their congress, they can create their state congress, mm -hmm. pwede nilang padamihin ang kiyasin ng congressmen. They okay. can create sectoral representatives, party representatives in their states, which okay. has an equal status na rin, di ba? In, like in Hawaii, di ba? if you go to United States, mm -hmm. di ba? may US Congress, we have state congress, Pero ang status ng congressmen, they're equal somehow, di ba? 
nabawasan ang uh, National Level Congress. Okay, National Level Congress. Okay, nawala sila. Four barrel. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to budgeting, I'll leave this question hanging. Will this solve the problem of corruption? No? In a way. But before you answer that, your points are well taken, gentlemen, but let's take a short break. When we return, let's check out what our viewers and followers on social media have to say. You're still watching pros and cons before we continue let's check out the comments of our followers on social media so i have chosen three no the first uh, is from uh, francisco sanchez pasqua Sabi niya, i hope it will have an unicameral assembly abolish the senate so yung hanging question ko doon ko dadalhin mamaya prof no and this one from john patrick mensalvas salanga well, siyempre, halos mag sa mga followers ang page na ito kasi karamihan sa nag-like dito ay pro Duterte admin. Hindi naman po siguro, boss. <laughs> and ito, lastly, from Maat uh, Nestor. I-revise lang po ng konti, sabi niya, ASEC. Mm -hmm. Wag payagan ang mga dayuhan ng 100% na magmay-ari ng lupain sa Republika ng Pilipinas. So I'll throw that uh, uh, question to you after sagutin ni... Prof. Uh, Scott, yung question natin. So, nabanggit din kanina ng isang nag-comment, abolish the Senate. So, nasabi ni ASEC Malaya kanina, mabawasan ng malaki ang uh, pork barrel. Will this somehow, or will this, uh, address the problem of corruption, federalism? Maybe in a unitary form of government, yes. The one we have at present, bawasan mo ng Kongreso, uh -oh. syempre mabawasan ng corruption, pork barrel, <laughs> spending. However, <laughs> If we push the federal government, uh, diba? hindi pa payag yung mga ano, diba? political dynasties not to have okay. position. So they will create their own laws. Magkakagawa ng state senators, state congressmen. Try to imagine, let's go back to the history of the Philippine Congress. Paano mm -hmm. ba nagsimula ang House of Representatives at Senate of the Philippines? Okay. Diba? House of Representatives was founded 1907, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Senate of the Philippines, 1917. Okay. Pero was it created as a national congress? Diba? They never used the title congress in the past. They were using mm -hmm. Philippine State Registrature, diba? or Philippine Registrature, okay. which means it is under United States of America. Diba? So, okay. yun ang mistake ng kagamihan ng Pilipino, majority of the Filipino. Uh -huh. Kasi akala nila, Philippines as a sovereign nung tinayo yung Congress. But during that time, we are just a protectorate or a commonwealth of United States. Of the, of the U.S. Of the U.S. So, mayroon pang U.S. Congress. If you try to observe history, Senator Manuel Quezon and mm -hmm. Senator Osmeña diba, were representatives to the U.S. Congress. Oh. Iba pa yung senators and congressmen natin here in the Philippine Islands during those mm -hmm. times. How, how do we relate that to uh, those uh, so, times now? Meaning, once we push <coughs> me. to federalism, tanggalin mo man ang Senate, gawin mong unicameral, mm -hmm. doon sila babanat sa state government. Diba? So, ganun? Is, is Corruption that possible? Will Before you answer my... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I, I, what's that? The uh, Facebook question. Asa? Well, um, unang una, yung sinasabi na about the pork barrel system uh -oh. na, na, na mababawasan, mm. that's right. No? And the fact na magkakaroon ng mga regional governments, that not, does not necessarily mean na pwede kang mag-create ng napakadaming congressmen on the regional level. Uh -oh. Kasi nga, as, as I said, we are developing our own federal system, not necessarily the U.S. system. If we were using the U.S. system as our model and we follow everything na nasa U.S., then probably may problem ang ganon. But let, let me just emphasize, mm. there are some ingredients to make Philippine federalism succeed. Okay. At number one ingredient doon is yung anti-political dynasty. Yan, ako, na mismo, ako na mismo magsasabi sa iyo, Yusek, no? mm. pag hindi natin isinabay ang anti-pol dynasty sa federalism, we may cre we be creating problems. Kaya whenever okay. we are whenever we are campaigning for a federal system, lagi namin sinasabi, itong mga political and electoral reforms, like strengthening the political party system, prohibiting political turncoats or political uh, turncoatism, balimbingan, balimbingan uh -huh. and the anti-political dynasty provision must be imbe embedded in the new constitution. 
Kasi these are the ingredients that will make federalism in the Philippines succeed. Okay, that's basically pushing for federalism is dismantling political dynasties. Yes, diba? yes. Uh, preventing the practice, the age-old practice of balim balimbing. Yes. Hindi ba mas nadoble yung hirap <laughs> ang problema? I mean, baka yun ang efekto eh. If I were a lawmaker na, teka, masisira yung dynasty ko. Pero partner, ito na sana yung panahon for the Filipinos to make right. those difficult decisions at this point. Mm -hmm. Kasi this is a president that ran on a platform of change. Yeah. Eh kung hindi naman natin pala gagawin yung tunay na pagbabago, eh bakit pa tayo nagfe-federalism? We need federalism together with political and electoral reforms. Okay, and we should not only, if you agree, uh, Prof, hindi lang pwedeng sa kamay ng mga congressman natin ipaubaya lahat eh. Yes. What can the people do to push for federalism besides well, right now, for, for, uh, for example, what we're doing right now is we're educating them. We're telling them the benefits of federalism and all that. So how can we encourage the people to tell their congressmen, come hell or high water, you should support federalism? Siguro that's part the interest of the youth. Tamang-tama, daming bagong mm. elected na barangay officials, SK officials. Oh, we can oh, inculcate oh, them oh, oh. in their activities, di ba? Hindi lang puro pa basketball games or yes. beauty contests. <laughs> so it's about time, di ba? Tama, Let's diba? engage them on debate about federalism para makita na rin beauty of federalism na pinupush ng ating presidente. So let's start with ano, barangay governments and at the same time in the schools also. That's nice. You know, Yusek, yung mga nagsasabi na uh, hindi mangyayari yan kasi the congressmen or the senators will not legislate against uh -huh. their own interest. Hindi yata tama yan. You know why? Uh -huh. In the SK Reform Act, which was passed by this by the Congress, mm -hmm. eh, pinagbawal yung political dynasty oh, bawal yung, sa uh, SK. Up to the second degree of consanguinity. Therefore, mm -hmm. it's possible for Congress yes, so. to pass something that is against their Similar interest. Similar law. You know why? why? Why they were able to uh -huh. do it? Because... Um, they were questioning, and dami ng uh, proposals to abolish the SK. Dahil exactly. nga nagagamit nga daw exactly. sa political uh, whatever, uh, tapos corruption. So because of the public uproar against uh, the SK, there was this reform na nangyari at mm. naisama yung anti-Pol dynasty mm. dun sa SK. Galing, so galing, if yeah. there is enough support from the people and uh, the president will utilize his entire political capital, mm. sasabihin niya, this is what I want. I run on this platform. Tingin ko and this can be done. And this can be done. Oh. Tingin ko mapipilitan ng ating but, mga uh, congressman. But tataas kilay ng ibang nakikinig sa atin. Kasi yung SK Reform Act, I think, was passed before uh, the administration came in. That's right. But however... Ano, pero ano pa ngayon? Oh, na, na, nagawa. <laughs> but ito, ito, here's the difference doon, siguro. Ilang beses naman na postponed yung SK elections. Ngayon, natuloy. Yes, because right. of the unicameral, ay the bicameral system. Okay. Kaya dong rea in reaction na uh, partner dun sa sinasabi yes, na yes, abolish tama. the Senate. Uh -huh. Para sa akin, may purpose ang upper chamber. Yun ang taga Like that, hindi nila pinayagang, <laughs> sabi ng lower house, uh, sabi ng Congress, huwag pala ituloy. Yes, ipostpone. Kaya sabi ng ano, hindi gumalaw yung Senate, natuloy yung election. Natuloy yung election. Alright. So, so there's, a, there's a benefit to a two-chamber system. Yun nga lang, we hmm. need to make it regional para uh -huh. hindi lang isang lugar ang may dominance Kung doon sa Senado. Kung sinabi natin two-chamber system na regional, ibig sabihin sa region, may Senate and lower house? No, ibig sabihin, Ayan. yung mga senador natin, instead of being elected at large, okay. right, our present system uh -huh. right now, i-elect lang sila by region. Sa region, then uupo sila sa yes, national. Yes, sila sa national. As representative of uh, uh, re the federal region of Central Luzon, something yes. like that. Yes. Again, ah, coming from... Uh, from a resident there. So, tapos may sariling regional assembly. Meron din. Whatever we call, we may call them. Uh, pwedeng Congress, pwedeng Parliament. So, Pero wala pa. Most probably regional assembly. Regional assembly ang tawag. Mm. Okay. okay. Uh, hindi ba ito naman, partner, maging uh, uh, susceptible to abuse of power? We must have an override power by mm. the national government. All right. Para pag nasobrahan na at nakita, kailangan pwede makapasok si Meaning national how, uh, government. Parang example, let's uh, be clear about it. Paano papasok si national government? Well, unang-una... Kung una, mabuso si local? Unang-una, uh, kung hindi nagagawa ni local or ni regional mm -hmm. yung kanyang mga tungkulin, pwede pumasok si national government. Okay. For example, uh, hindi na asikaso ang agriculture, pababa ng pababa ah. yung agricultural, papasok si DA. 
Sasabihin okay. ni National DA, take over mo ang agriculture services sa region na yan. Kasi hindi nagagawa ni region. Pwedeng gawin yun. Pwedeng gawin yun. Okay. That is a Philippine-style federalism. Oh, I see. Oh, Kasi yung concept na dinidevelop natin, na sinabi na rin ni Chief Justice po, ni Chief, uh, Ay, Puno, is atin. a bayanihan federal system. Bayanihan federal system. Mm. Prof, do you think that would work? The bayan, bayanihan kasi is very Filipino. Yes, oh. The way I see it, it's complicating things. Diba? It complicated. may not address problems when it comes to war guards, political oh. dynasties. Oh. Ayoko na magbigay ng example. Yes, However, yes. let me share, diba? even in Metro Manila cities, diba? may mga puppet mayors dito. Oh. Diba? Imagine, so dynasty pa rin, patuloy pa rin dynasty. Kahit sabi mong... Puppet mayors meaning kasi tatay nila yung talaga nagpapatapog. Ba? Hindi naman, not necessarily <laughs> related. Sometimes hindi nga kadugo eh, di ba? Ah, okay. Yan, di ba? <coughs> so sometimes it happens, di ba? Mm -hmm. So kahit ipagbawag mo, di ba? Sa mm -hmm. constitution na, di ba? To a certain degree of consignment. Ah. Sanguinity or consignity, whatever. Diba? They can fade in, di ba? They're Nakaka closest may, agents. Nakakapalusot pa rin daw. Nakakapalusot pa rin. Kasi Filipino style, tapos iba so, naman ang estilo ng Pinoy, bulusot, di ba? Pag pinedagay mo pa yun, what more, di ba? Hindi mo na oh. matututukan yan. Mas definitely, matututukan. There, definitely, there will be some birth pains, no? We need to establish and institutionalize mm -hmm. stronger political parties. Kasi ngayon, political life natin, umiikot sa mga dynasties. Ngayon, mm -hmm. kailangan natin ipagbawal yan. Pag pinagbawal natin yan, hindi na makakasabay-sabay yung mga politiko na ako oh. governor, anak ko congressman, si asawa ko mayor. Hindi na mangyayari yan. And political life will now shift to the political parties. Mm -hmm. Yun ang kailangan palakasin natin. Right. Kasi the political parties will now be the one to police themselves. Mm -hmm. Gaya nung ginagawa sa uh, ibang bansa. Oh. That they palakasin have, uh, natin ngayon dito, political parties. Political parties. Okay. Because political parties are supposed to be the institutions Okay that, ba sa ano, atin ang two-party system? Uh, before you answer that, Let's take a final break. Don't go away. We're back. You're still on pros and cons, and still on the topic of federalism. Kanina, mm -hmm. before uh, we took a break, pinag-uusapan natin kanina, ASEC, yung pagpapalakas sa mga political parties natin. And I think, well, the question I raised was that, uh, okay ba yung two-party system? You know, partner, yan nakakalungkot sa ating sistema na gobyerno. <laughs> Kasi, uh, yung ating mga partido, parang damit na hinuhubad at uh, uh, sinusuot na lang makatapos ng eleksyon. You know, everybody, sila na lang eh. Uh, everybody runs to the... To <coughs> the ay, karamihan ng mga dating member ng Liberal Party ngayon, nasa PDP laban na. Nasa, you know, that's what's... Ano, mapipigil yan. Mapipigil yan kasi isa sa mga sinusulong natin. And yung CONCON ay nag-approve uh -oh. is to prohibit uh, turncoatism. For example, sa US, kung Republican ka, Republican ka, yes. Democrat ka, Democrat ka. Uh, the, the, kaya namin pinupush yan kasi gusto namin mag-isip-isip muna yung hmm. politiko bago siya sumama ng partido. Okay. Kasi sumasama lagi sa bandwego ni. Eh. Okay. So ngayon, pag-iisipan niya, ano ba itong partido yung sinasamahan ko? Uh, Pro-death penalty ba ito? <laughs> diba? Depende eh, sa platform ngayon ng partido. Anti-illegal drugs ba ito? Kasi if you will remember sa Kongreso, dahil hindi naman nila naintindihan oh. yung kanilang sinamahang partido, nung pinush ni Speaker Alvarez, oh. yung uh, anti-death penalty at may mga hindi bumoto, mm -hmm. tinanggal niya sa mga chairmanship ng mga komite. Yeah, uh, they did not understand what they were supporting. So, parang ano yan, in a way, uh, multi-party system pa rin yan. It's a multi-party system. Na, is, na, na fixed ang platform at kung doon ka sumama, doon na lang. Doon ka, hindi naman the entire time. Kasi right. that would be a limitation to your right, to right. your association. Uh, uh, uh. Ang itong proposal namin, one year before the election and one year after the election, mm -hmm. hindi ka pwede lumipat. I see. Mid-term, doon ka lumipat. Okay, parang uh, ganito yan. Uh, mayor ako. Uh, uh. Tapos term ko. Yung anak ko, bawal tumakbo. Ganun ba yan? Ah, anti-Paul sa, sa dynasty. Anti -Paul dynasty naman oh, yan. At paano natin... Sa anti-Paul dynasty naman, ang proposal namin, at ito naman ang pumasan na rin sa CONCOM, is uh, up to the second degree. Gaya nung sa, sa SK ah, reform. Ah, okay. Oh, nakita. Effective siya. Effective siya. Ang proposal namin, i-allow natin yung mga anak or asawa na gusto mag-succeed. Kasi kung nagustuhan naman nung taong bayan, yung brand of leadership hmm. noong uh, mayor, governor. So it's basically governor, succession. It's succession. Not, not simultaneous na, oh, anak, 
vice ka mayor ako congressman si yes. si Tito mo so yun ang hindi pwede hindi pwedeng uh, 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 hiwa-hiwala yung partido namin ah isang pa di ba oh, well yan ang ginagawa ngayon oh, oh. yan ang ginagawa ngayon yung tatay nationalista yung anak uh, PDP laban yung exactly. ano lahat naka oh. sila sa lahat ng partido yan. since magbabawal na natin yung uh, simultaneous oh. Isa na lang ang nakaupo. At siya ngayon na magdidesisyon kung anong partido sasamahan niya. Isa na lang yung nakaupo eh. Oo. oo. Siya na lang yung nakaupo. Kung Ebe, sino, kung anong partido katatakbo. Nasa kanya na yan. I see. At pag-aaralan niya ng maganda kung ano yung uh, oh, magandang size. partidong gusto niyang samahan. Is it doable? Do you think it's doable? For this existing batch diba, of politicians <laughs> that we have, mahirap ata. Diba? <laughs> Itong present. Uh, sa present, diba? Pero in the future, it's doable. Eh. Especially ah. if we start with the SK generation that okay. we have right now. Diba? Pas- involving the SK. Involving the SK. Diba? Party ideology. Mm-hmm. Dapat lagi nakapaskil yan. Eh. Not just the logo of the political party. Lagi nakabit-bit yung ideology. Yeah. Pero at least ma-identify sila kung saan talaga sila. Oh. Ako, Yusek, I'm very positive. Eh, mm-hmm. Kasi it's now our time. Eh. Mm-hmm. Time ni professor, time mo, time natin. It's our generation. No, I think it's the no. This is the time of change. Hindi right. tayo, tayo nakakasiguro na we will have another president to Exactly. No, he was exactly. an outlier. And and, and uh, pero ito going to the uh, na pag-usapan natin legislature, the judici- judiciary, mm-hmm. judicial system. May mm-hmm. nagsasabi na dapat okay ba yung jury dito sa Philippine setting? Pinag-usapan ba ngayon yon, Asik? Sa formation? Hindi. <laughs> ah, hindi. So, paano ang magiging hindi. judicial system natin? Hindi pinag-uusapan kasi, alam, eh, gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, uh, yung mga botante nga na nagpapabenta ng binabenta oh! yung kanilang moto. Ano pa kaya oh, oh. to decide guilty or not guilty ang isang tao in a criminal case pending in court. no So, alam mo na, hahanap ka ng kamag-anak, hahanap ka so, ng kamag So, hindi pa mawala yung mga TRO for sale ng setup. Ganun ko sa Bersi. Di ba? You know, Very important ang judicial system, although technically, you say, hindi ito federalism. I see. Oo, kasi federalism is, is really focused on the uh, relationship between the central government and the regional government. Right. Ang judiciary, kung apag-aaralan mo yung iba-ibang federal systems in the, in the world, mm. iba-iba, may mga unitary federal systems okay. at mga unitary na judicial systems. So, paano no? ang ano, ideal setup sa atin? Yung present? Ang, uh, may mga reforms na rin because okay. the present system is not really working. Exactly. I agree. Matagal ang justisya sa ating bansa. <laughs> no? Pag nakasuhan ka sa ombudsman, sampung taon, then mamaya uh-huh. kakasuha ka sa Sandigan Bayan, 15 years. Mga five years ka nakakulong, tas acquitted ka pala. Acquitted ka. <laughs> tapos uh, kuminsan, pag may kaso ka, all the way to the Supreme Court, sa lupa, 20 years, hindi pa tapos yung kaso. <laughs> Patay na yung nagahabol. <laughs> so, uh-huh. we need to do something about it. But it's not technically federalism. It's uh-huh. something about the judicial system. Yes. And uh, lately, may mga proposals coming from the CONCOM na mag-create ng mga additional courts. So, Uy. yes, the Supreme Court, which has a backlog of almost 9,000 cases. Wala ba mababago sa mga batas natin under a federal system? De- uh, no. Depende sa power na ibibigay natin sa region. Ah, okay. We, hindi naman pwedeng lahat ng bagay pwede mag-legislate sa region. All right. There will only be some areas uh-huh. na national government pa rin ang mag-legislate. For example, kung ang national government handles currency, hindi pwede mag-legislate si region at gagawa sila ng sariling piso. There will be Isa lang ang piso sa buong Pilipinas. I see. Yun ang national government. Yun, Yun ang national part government. Part Pero in relation to legal profession, federalism might create chaos amongst lawyers. Kasi it's uh-huh. face reality, di ba? Uh-huh. In United States, di ba? A New York lawyer cannot practice in California. Ah. State of California, state of Hawaii. So what more in the Philippines? Okay. Especially, ang daming batas na gagawin ng new state governments. Paano nga pala yun? Prof, yan yung sinasabi ko na we are not going to copy the U.S. system. We're not going to copy the U.S. system in its entirety. We were not, we're not going to uh, regionalize so, the, practice of, the practice of profession. Okay. Hindi natin, okay. medyo, medyo magulo yun. Okay. So, <laughs> parang ganito pa rin ang practice ng profession ng law. National pa rin. Although, there will be regions na may, for example, death penalty. No? Tapos yung iba, wala. Pero yung lawyer, pwede siya doon, pwede sa mag-practice sa mga... Unless, unless, the nas- unless the federal government says, lahat ng penalties like the death penalty, amin yan. Hindi ka pwede. Pag sinabi ng national government na, sige, bahala kayo to do your own penalties, only then will the regional government or state government have okay. the power to make their own penalties. So, nasa federal design yan. Alright. Nasa federal design, kung ano yung ibibigay mo sa mga regions na power. At I pwede see. magsabi si region na, nako, itong lug- ito, ito si federal, na nako, itong lugar na ito, uh, kontrolado ng mga warlords. From start to finish, 
meaning finish, meaning ma-implement siya. Nasa ang part na tayo. Nako, matagal-tagal pa ang... <laughs> Kung matagal, 10 steps siya, nasa ang pangilang step tayo? Ah, well, uh, wala pa nga yung mod, patapos pa lang yung mm-hmm. model natin. Siguro oh. nasa second or third steps so, pa lang matagal, tayo. Pa. Mahaba-habang debate pa ito. Okay, but partner. the eight other steps, for instance, you know, for purposes of uh, discussion. Uh, discussion, yes, achievable within four years. Yes. Ah, okay. Definitely, so, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. It's, it's good na it will take some time kasi nga, gaya dumalabas dun sa ating social media comments sa uh, USEC is uh, gusto ng taong mas maintindihan ito. Exactly. And the more time that we give for discussion gives more time for yes. people to think about it. That's right. That's right. So, Prof, uh, are you optimistic still after hearing uh, ASEC Malaya? Ah, uh, yes naman, ano? However, <laughs> however, I have to see the draft yeah, first. there no? goes the however again. As early as possible, sana igabas na sa taong bayan, di ba? Yeah. So at least everybody can take part. Right. Mahirap kasi yung certain groups lang ang nakikinabang, di ba? When it comes mm. to crafting, di ba? The policies. Mas maganda, let's involve everybody. Everybody, di ba? So, with that, any final words, uh, ASEC? Well, Yusek, thank you for inviting yes, me. Yes, no? yes. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think that I can assure all your, all your uh, viewers here that there will be an opportunity for them to take part in this discussion. Uh, the, first, the, the first thing that the ILG is going to do starting next month is to go around the country in a federalism roadshow. No? So all the regional nice. centers will be... Uh, and, and there will be consultations. Yung mga CONCO members will be there and the, the people can ask With directly. PCO, PCO also. PCOO, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- there is going to be a mm. MOA that will be signed yeah. very soon with the PCOO. Prof, uh, first and foremost, Final words, oh, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, thank you for coming also. Biglaan, pero hindi ko mapaghindihan si Yusek. And thank you also to ASIC Jonathan Magaya no, for being very active. Yan ako natuto eh. However, for federalism to work, the way I see it, let's involve everybody. Kasi I'll be frank with you, ang daming nagtampo especially if Congress is pushing con us. Mm. Gusto ng tao, con-com, di ba? Uh-huh. Di ba? In crafting, di ba? The policies when it comes to federalism, restructuring federalism, or changing the Constitution. Yes. Pero for me, it's too early pa rin eh. Yes. Di ba? Sabi it's, nga ni oh, ASEC, nakaka-two steps pa lang tayo. Two steps tayo. pa lang. <laughs> Oo, di ba? It will take time talaga. Let's take focus time. first sa unitary pa rin. However, let's revise the Constitution. Kasi hindi na siya akma in this right. present generation. Yeah. Ang dami ng changes eh, including right. the local government code of Nene Pimentel, medyo outdated na. Mm-hmm. And I hope the publishers, next time, once they sell the constitution, attach na rin the local government code. Right. Para at least everybody diba, will be aware. Okay. So, there you have it, folks. Straight from the shoulder and right on the money. As President Duterte's campaign theme harps on change is coming, federalism may be the biggest change the country has yet to see. But enough time must be given for all to understand if a federal government is truly what's best for us. We appreciate your being here on the show. For your comments, suggestions, and questions, visit our Facebook page and the PNA website. You may be for or against. You may agree or disagree. In the end, we are all Filipinos working towards the same goals. Will you choose what's right? Or will you stay on your side of the truth? Once again, this is Undersecretary Joel Seego. Thank you and see you on the next episode of Pros and Cons.